So people are asking, what is two-tier policing? And so instead of me explaining it to you, I thought I'd just show you exactly what two-tier policing is. So let's take a look, shall we? Get in the bus. So there you go, there you go. And so for those of you wondering what the contrast is here, in this second clip, the one I just showed you, the protest they were having was an authorized protest. It was scheduled to happen. And so they were given this allotted space that they were supposed to protest in. And what had happened was protesters basically just decided they wanted to leave. Right. And obviously that wasn't allowed because this was their allotted space. They weren't leaving to do violence. They weren't leaving to do harm. There was no suggestion they ever were. They just literally wanted to leave the cramped space that they were in and just walk around. There was no allegation that they were going to do criminal things. And this is how the police responded. Compare that to the first clip you saw. The first clip I showed you, which almost certainly was not an authorized protest. Maybe I'm wrong here, but, but I'd be willing to bet money that was not an authorized protest, right? And I'm pretty sure, according to the law, correct me if I'm wrong here, it needed to be, especially considering that these people were taking up some space on the road. I mean, they seem to be causing traffic in the process of their protest. So that was, at least to me, clearly an unauthorized protest occurring on the streets. And there's no police in sight. There's no police in sight. I haven't found any videos of anybody getting arrested yet. Certainly not any cordons being set up. And that is blatant two-tier policing. That is, that is an easy summary of two-tier policing. Another clear example of two-tier policing seems to be that lefties never seem to get arrested for certain crimes. Crimes like this. Okay, so, um... What do you mean I can't have any alcohol? Okay, well, I'll tell you. Okay, the time's uh, 20 to 3, 1440, arresting you on suspicion of improper use of the electronic uh, communications network. I'm what? One Two seven communications act, okay? So you do not have to say that it may harm your defense if you don't mention one question, something which later on in court. Anything you do say may be given evidence. Do you understand that? So I'm actually being arrested. You're going to be arrested, okay? Right. And that's a police station. Right. Actually, okay, this is in relation to some comments that you've made on a Facebook page. Okay. Oh, really? Oh, it's really a Facebook crime, is it? Okay. Right. So we need to ask you some questions about that. So there you go, there you go, right? What a ridiculous crime you've just heard. A lot of people didn't know until recently that this kind of stuff was going on, right? This use of these malicious communications laws and public order offense and all this crap that seems to just be designed to crush political distance. And this has been going on for a while. This wasn't triggered by the events in Southport. This kind of stuff has been going on for a long time, people. What you're seeing here this weaponized lawfare, right? If you look at a lot of these laws, the malicious communications, public order offense, the Equality Act, a lot of it is designed to fuck you in the ass. That is what it is designed to do. It is designed to crush you if you politically dissent. And a lot of it is just in the application. Lefties never get arrested for this stuff. Are you telling me lefties never use online communications in an obscene way? Are you people insane? Have you heard some of the stuff that lefties will say to you? I mean, if you're somebody who says online, there's only two categories, male and female, these people will like wish death on your whole family. I mean, some lefties are utter nutters, but you never see them getting reined in on malicious communications offenses. Never. And this brings about the obvious question, right, at the end of this. We say there are two there's two tier policing. And it seems like there clearly is. What are the two tiers? The tiers are very, very simple, people. The two tiers. Tier one is the people that Keir Starmer thinks will vote for him. 
the people that he thinks constitutes his voter base. That's tier one. For those people, the treatment is very nice. The police will never knock on your door like they're doing here for this old man who's on medication. They'll never knock on your door and, and try and throw you in jail for some things you said on Facebook that were just a bit too obscene. They'll get let you get away with what you saw in the first clip I played you at the start. Just unauthorized protesting, just causing traffic, antisocial behavior. They'll let you get away with that, apparently. Because, again, I've seen no evidence to suggest anybody was arrested or cordoned or reined in in any capacity in that first video. No evidence. And the reason why is because Keir Starmer has split this country into two. People who he thinks will vote for him and people who he thinks will not. And the people who he thinks will not will be crushed with the full force of the law as he and his lackeys have promised. That is the two tiers, people. This ain't about race. This isn't about being racist or any some such rubbish. So when they call you a far right racist thug, just don't let them do that crap, okay? Right, I'm sure there are some racists and I don't tolerate racism. I don't like racism. I don't think it's good. Don't go around judging people by the color of their skin. It's crazy that I have to say this. It's a very obvious common sense statement. But I don't think most of you are far right racists. I think that's just a label they throw at you so that they can justify what they are already doing. And I suggest people fight back against this label. Keir Starmer has made it abundantly obvious more times than I get, like a bounty of times in the space of just three weeks that if you didn't vote for him, you're getting crushed. That's why there's a 20% VAT on private school education now, because you see the people who send their children to private school probably didn't vote for the Labour Party, crushed. The winter fuel payments revoked for millions of pensioners. Well, you, you just didn't vote for Keir Starmer, crushed. The talks that Labour have been doing for a long time, they haven't implemented it yet about lowering the voting age to 16 because they think 16 year olds will vote for them. Ding! They love you. The reason why Keir Starmer will set up a violent disorder unit to come after the people who, who rioted in Southport, London, etc., but has created no such unit and frankly hasn't given a strong enough condemnation of, in fact, I'm not even entirely sure he's given a condemnation at all, of some of the violent pro-Palestine pro protests we've seen, some of the chaos and carnage that they've caused, right, because he thinks that the people at those protests will vote for him, and he's probably right about that by and large. So they get special treatment. He gives pay rises to the public sector because they will vote for him. He plans on housing more migrants. You best believe it. Don't let him, don't let him tell you otherwise. He, he plans on housing more migrants. You can bet money on that. I'm highly confident of that. Why? Because once he's naturalized them as citizens, which he will almost certainly do, they will vote for who? They will vote for the Labour Party. Do you see the pattern here? Do you see the pattern? These are the two tiers. These are the two tiers. And so this is what I don't like of what a lot of the protesters are doing. Right? So you're getting swept up in this kind of this like foreigner thing where you're getting swept up in just blaming foreigners. Right? Forget that. Forget that. The tears is not foreign and not foreign. Because trust me, there are foreigners that Keir Starmer does not like. Best to understand, there are foreigners that he doesn't approve of. The kind that have, you know, maybe have lived through socialism and have been at some of these protests that you've been at. That have lived through socialism, lived through authoritarianism and don't like it. Those are the kind of foreigners he doesn't like. Because they're a threat to his power. Acknowledge. If you want to tackle the problem of two-tier policing and two-tier governing of what we're seeing, you have to correctly identify what the two tiers are. This isn't about race and it's not about where you were born. This is about whether or not you subscribe to Keir Starmer and the Labour Party's view of politics. That is what this is, people. Those are the two tiers. Don't blame the migrant who lives next door to you. Or don't blame him. Forget him. Even if you think he's a bad guy, even if he's a criminal or whatever it may be, don't forget him. Forget it. Forget that. Right. Focus on the political establishment. Focus on the political class, especially the Labour Party. But I mean, to some degree, the Tories, too, because they've been basically silent about this. I mean, I did see Rishi put out a post saying that he supports all the rioters getting the full force of the law. Mm -hmm. So Rishi's decided to cave to the pressure as well. So that's great. So that's the leader of the opposition getting in lockstep with Keir Starmer. So it tells you all you need to know. Rishi's read the room. There's a choice now that Keir Starmer has made to you. Either get in lockstep with Keir Starmer or be crushed. These are the two tears, people. This is the two tears. I've been screaming this for so long. This man is a radical, extreme authoritarian. And you lot didn't want to believe it. You wanted to believe he was a moderate. That's why you gave this clown a supermajority. 
because you fell for the bull crap he tried to play on you that he was a moderate. This man is extreme and radical. And he is an authoritarian to boot. That is what he is. And this is this is his new system. You say things that Keir Starmer likes, well, you'll have a cushy life, right? If you comply, you'll have a nice cushy life. The police won't come after you like they are in this video. For obscene communications on a social media network. That won't happen to you. But if you're a political dissident, that will happen to you. Two-tier Keir has made it obvious. Keir Stalin has made it obvious what he plans on doing here. Right, and I urge, if you're somebody who voted for Keir, who agrees with him on this, debunk what I'm saying to you. Come on, leave a comment, leave a comment and let me know how I'm wrong. Because the patterns are so obvious as to what this man is doing. It seems like basically every chess move he has made so far in the last three weeks has been designed to hurt those who did not vote for him and reward those who did or will. That is all that we have seen so far. That is the two-tier policing. That is the two-tier governing. That is what it is about. Don't let these people try and gaslight you into thinking that it's some sort of race-based conflict or foreigner-based conflict. Forget all that crap. This is very simply put a manufactured conflict by Keir Starmer and the political establishment as part of their new authoritarian regime. That's what this is. Keir Starmer has just basically said out loud what the political establishment have been whispering for a very long time, which is shut the fuck up, political dissident. We don't want to hear from you. We don't care what you think. We are going to do what we want to do anyways. And we will crush you if you disagree. We will slander you and label you a racist, far-right bigot and all the rest. This is him just putting that rhetoric into action. That's all this is. But yeah, let me know what you lot think about this down below. Do you disagree with anything I said? If so, let me know. And uh, yeah, please remember to like and subscribe, people. And see ya.